Hi guys, Alan Salmon here and this is going to be the first of a few lessons where we're going to have a look at triads and what they can do for us as guitar players. Um, just quickly then, what are triads? Really they are the smallest version of a chord that you can play, three notes. Let's say G major, a three note version of that chord is here. So we kind of call this, it looks like an E major, we kind of call this the E shape. G major triad. So here we've got the major third, the fifth, and the root note, the G. We could also play those same three notes, root, major, third, and fifth, here, except this time we've got the fifth, the root, and the major third. Looks like a D major, D major chord. And lastly, up here looks like an A major bar chord. This time you've got root, third and fifth. What we could also do is slightly alter that major triad and make it a minor triad. All we have to do is take that major third, uh, so in this case the B, take it down a semitone and it becomes a minor third. It sounds like this. Major, take the third down a semitone and we get a G minor chord. Up here we had fifth, root and third take that third down, G minor. And up here, we had root, third and fifth. That's our third. Take it down to a minor third, get a G minor chord. So how can you practice this? Well, what you can do is take a song that you already know how to play, hopefully something simple, let's say G, D, E minor and C, and learn how to play that song using triad shapes. G, D, E minor, C. You could try it in different strings. A G, D, E minor, C. In the next lesson we're going to have a look at some other things you can do with triads and it's going to be more to do with playing single note lines and also coming up with second guitar parts for things like recording and playing with other musicians. But for now, hope you enjoy the practice and see you soon.